Ugh. So recently I got out of a relationship. Well, actually it wasn't that recent, um, but for the past like half a year, I failed to feel anything towards anyone. No crushes, no butterflies in my stomach, nothing. And it's starting to make me a bit worried. So let's talk about that. <laughs> So the purpose of this video, it's titled, Learning to Love Again. And so I have this issue where I got out of a relationship like half a year ago, and since then, I feel like I haven't been able to like catch feelings or really like care about relationships in any way or feel attracted to anyone in general. And I'm wondering if you have any advice for me as a person. Uh, why are you asking me? <laughs> I feel like you closed it off just because you don't want to like go back and feel hurt again So you've kind of just like closed it off. I feel like you need to go in and like even if it hurts You have to like heal that part of you. You know what I mean? How should I go about healing that part of me? <laughs> um, just practice self-love <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Do No, that's good advice. That's no. fine Today is Monday and I think for this week I'm gonna try to learn how to love again which is a scary thing, but it's also exciting because I have absolutely no idea where I'll end up. Okay, so I was just sitting here thinking about the things that my friends have told me, and I realized I, I think I know what I have to do. What everyone's saying is kind of pointing me to the fact that I should try to go on a date, <laughs> which is not what I really want to do, but I think pushing myself out there might be uh, what I need. Hi. Hi. It's nice I just to have meet to you. My mom. I was thinking, are you busy Saturday? Um, no. no. Okay. So, would you want to go on a date Saturday? Yeah, sure. Okay, awesome. Okay, so it's time to get ready for this date, and I need a haircut. <laughs> Welcome. Please take your ticket. Woo! Feeling good. <laughs> so I just got my hair cut. Looks all right. Looks all right. It was really cheap. Now I gotta head to the dollar store to get some painting supplies. Close on Tuesdays, bro. Okay, we're at Dollar Tree number two. So hopefully we can find some paint. Are you serious? So we're currently at our third and final attempt. If this place doesn't have the pain. So we are officially 0 for 3 on the day uh, for paint supplies. Dang, man. What, what does a guy have to do to get some paint, you know? All right, good morning, everyone. Today is the final day before the date, and I still have a lot to figure out. <laughs> Yes, I am drinking pre-workout in the morning, just a tiny bit, because I'm too cheap to spend money on energy drinks now. I'm turning a new leaf, guys. Instead of buying energy drinks every day, I'm just scooping a little bit of pre-workout. Basically the same thing, right? <laughs> I have a problem. They better have the paint stuff, I swear. Whew, we finally successfully got our painting stuff. All right, guys, so it's time to pick an outfit now. All right, so it's currently now time for the date. I have to go pick up some food, then I'm picking Amber up. Yo, I won't lie, I'm so nervous right now. I haven't done anything like this in a long time, and I don't even know if I want to, but I'm just like, we have to commit. We have to push ourselves. That's what this video is for. So, okay, so I just picked up the food. It took literally so long, uh, but I'm on my way to pick up Amber now. Do the same drugs no more. Oh, I'm nervous. We don't do the we don't, don't do the same drugs. I am also ten minutes late, which is not a good thing, especially for a first impression. Do not take notes, guys. This is uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Same drugs no Yo, more. Yo, what's up? Hi. Hi. How nice are 
are you? I'm good. Take the blog. Yeah. Do what do I do? Wait. Just talk to them. Oh. Hi. I thought you got so much time, but we found it. It was like 2,000 years ago. So you have two older siblings that are twins. I was too late. I was too late. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't want to make people feel weird. Because I know it's up to like sometimes you want do the same drugs no more. We don't do the we don't do the same drugs. Do the same drugs. Amber. But it's kind of soggy. No, because it's soggy. <laughs> Let's see. This one might be crunchy. <laughs> All right, Amber. What's something that scared you when you were a child? Mm. I think a blunt answer is clowns. clowns. I hate clowns. Something deeper might be. Like not finding my person, maybe like mm. a person I want to marry. Do you believe in soulmates? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Like love at first sight or? Mm. Not love at first sight. I think there can be like soulmates for every point of your life. Like you can have multiple soulmates. Mm. But you okay, ready? It. Ready? Yeah. Okay, three. Oh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> what is his face? I don't know. I didn't have. I mean, I see the vision. The it picture. looks pretty close to me, right? <laughs> This is what I wanted it to look like. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks the same. It Let's looks go, like You can't even tell the difference. No, seriously. What do you think? Um I believe in soulmates, but I think you have to make you have to put in a lot of effort. Like like you won't just be soulmates by just like meeting each yeah. other. Yeah, like, it's not it's got that. This one says living so the last night feels like a past life. Mm. Uh, that's very good shit. This one I'm afraid I'll be just like my friend. I'm afraid I ain't gonna have no friends. Oh my god, when do my story? Tell me, god, when do my story? I'm not that sad of the DeLorean. He was a bad son, 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 so we left. I think I was just honestly really proud of myself while on this date. And maybe that sounds a bit self-absorbed, but it's true. In reality, it's nothing crazy, it's just a date, but I'm glad that I put myself out there. Amber is one of the coolest people I've ever met, and I think overall this just gave me a lot more confidence. But it also taught me that the process of learning to love again is one that won't just happen overnight. Okay. Alright, as high as you can. Again. Where'd it go? It's gonna hit a car. <laughs> Alright guys, five dollar bouncy ball that we won in the arcade today. We're gonna mega bounce. The bounce it. of a lifetime. Oh <laughs> Did it hit you? <laughs> oh my God. And at the end of the day I was still left with a lot of questions. So as the week neared to an end, I decided to call up an old friend. So I'm curious, Brad. Yeah. You're a man of a lot more years of experience than me. Uh, <laughs> you old as shit. Just say it. <laughs> yeah, you're you're practically in the in the grave, you know. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm just curious on like if you've ever felt this feeling of not having the motivation to pursue love or care in the world for that, and if so, like how were you able to get through it? Uh, two things have kind of really helped me sort of pay it forward to recognize, like, I can chill out on this. Um, love takes so many forms. Uh, romantic love is a big, unique, wonderful one that, like, a lot of us are blessed to have in this life. But you can have and you can fill so much of that space with uh, sort of that friendship love. The deep, moving uh, acts of kindness from my friends have like rivaled some things that my partners have ever done for me w when you're in a rel relationship even in a marriage that shit can end and so can a friendship 
but I think like probability if you were to like stack up the odds yeah. you're probably gonna stick with some of your friends way longer than you are with your your partner um so there's that but then also I I really honed in on like I have so much love to give for someone and that someone isn't there yet and that's really frustrating mm. so what I'm I can do with that love though is I can put it back into myself because by loving myself and tending to and nurturing the person I am and the person I want to be, that's going to pay off for the person I'm with down the road. And I think that sums it up perfectly. This week was a crazy, uncomfortable experiment in trying to learn more about myself. And every person in this video all said the same thing. I feel like you need more time. Like I feel more time? Like yeah. Time will heal. It just takes time. And. For the relationship part, don't look for anything. It'll fall into your hands. Okay. Don't chase it. Don't chase it. Yeah. I need to hear that. Uh, yeah, Thanks. I need to hear that. <laughs> of course. You can't force it. So for now, I'll stay here, patiently waiting, and there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just part of the process. I think sometimes we tend to look at ourselves and wonder why we feel certain ways, but it's important to know that that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. You might just need a little more time. And I guess at this point in my life, I'm just going to focus on pouring my love into my friends and myself, waiting for the day that those butterflies come back. Thanks for watching.